Hi all, uh, in today's video, uh, this is Mike here, uh, in today's video we are going to actually go through the steps to install uh, Peppermint OS onto the HP Stream 11, that's what we have here, as you can see now this is running on HP, uh, I mean like uh, Peppermint OS for HP Stream 11. So um, one of the reasons of doing that is because uh, first of all Windows 10 when they get installed into this machine, it took up a lot of space and all stuff. So by installing uh, Peppermint OS, this is the most lightweight distro, which I think is suitable for this. I've installed it and used it for a while. It's been pretty good. It's not like super fast or anything, but uh, it's good. So, um, yeah. So ultimately, everything runs fine. The settings, uh, panel, everything customized, the look and feel and stuff. There's a lot of options to play with and uh, ultimately things have been running pretty cool on this. So um, let's just get on to the steps of doing this. Okay, after you have to boot this uh, PC created, so there's two options for you to boot into the uh, BIOS. Ultimately, you can press F10 to the BIOS, or you can just boot from a uh, EFI hard disk. So normally, what we do this is to press F8 in to go to Boot Manager, or you can press F10 to go into BIOS. So in order to do that, we'll press F10 to go into BIOS. So some of the settings that we need to do it will be at the uh, boot option, system configuration, boot option. So as you can see now, you can actually disable legacy support because we can use EFI. Yes, uh, then after that, secure boot just in case, right? Then the boot manager normally will move up the press F6 to move up the uh, USB disk, hard disk drive, blah, 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 whatever on this, right? So when that is done, uh, you can actually go and Exit saving changes. So as you exit, when you have your USB plugged in, it should boot straight from your USB uh, your USB drive for you to uh, install uh, your Ubuntu uh, uh, Peppermint OS. I mean, into your uh, machine itself. Yes. Okay. Just a bit before it to boot up. So here you can see you can try Peppermint without installing and uh, all this stuff, right? So normally. For this case now, we'll do an install Ubuntu, alright, but install. So when you click on that, you just need to wait for that screen to boot up. Go well, to install Ubuntu, uh, sorry, Peppermint OS. It's recommended that you use a USB 3 thumb drive, uh, as I'm using a USB 2 one, so it should be a bit slower. Okay, so once it's finished starting up, you should see like the, uh, what do you call that, the menu for you to actually go through the installation. So normally what we do is press English, continue. English US and stuff like that, right? So you can just continue with this. So this one is for you to connect to your Wi-Fi network. So it's ultimately for stream itself. I don't think you need to connect. You can actually do that once you finish installing it. So, so it'll be faster. So for now, we will just leave it as it is. But if you do want to, you can actually do a connect where they will download updates and automatically detect time zone and stuff for you. So it's up to your case. So maybe for now, okay, let's just go with it. Uh, that is the Wi-Fi that I have. 
so you can just connect it so once it's get connected you can go continue um, the normal installation download utilities uh, updates uh, this download updates while installing Papini there's a normal installation purpose so normally you'll just go with this this is a good enough option third party software I don't we have anything on stream 11 so we can just skip it for now so we'll just go continue on with it okay that that is the option here right because I already have Pepper 9 Peppermint 9 installed into this stream 11 previously so they will basically say that you can actually install alongside with Peppermint 9 um, else you erase this and install Peppermint or you can do something else so for easier sake for now we are gonna do this right we are not gonna have to to dual boot stuff but if you want to install along with Windows you can do this but like what I said uh, due to space constraint normally we'll just install uh, what you call that peppermint OS trait and we'll just do it like this right so this will delete everything so just make sure when you do this uh, you're aware that they will delete everything on your EM32 gig EMMC drive right so once you are ready just click on install now and let the process take place so what happened here is that there will be two blocks one of them on your EMC card one of them will be the ESP one of them will, ESP is the boot drive uh, boot boot uh, partition and as well as the EXT4 and where is the storage partition and stuff right so the OS partition so once you're okay with it just go continue this process will take a while um, they will the installation will take a while once the installation finish uh, you should be booted up into Peppermint OS nicely oh okay so you still need to set your time zone and stuff so normally uh, this one you need to key in your stuff so you just Put in whatever you need to put in okay so once you're finished keying in your uh, computer name and all those stuff then there will be uh, the process of installation this process is going to take a while so um, you're just going to wait up for this process to complete so that it will be booted into Linux straight away okay guys so the installation has completed so what you need to do is just to do a restart and you can actually plug out the USB once the screen goes off. So as you can see now, the OS is booting up Peppermint OS. Um, and you can just key in the password. And you are booted into Peppermint OS. So you know there are stuff that's in here and stuff so there are a lot of tweaks that you can do with this um i'll leave you guys to play with it how you want to do it so software manager synaptic package manager is for you to update your uh what do you call that your system itself so yeah that's about it so you guys here is peppermint os for stream 11 so uh if you like the video that i make do subscribe for the, to the channel and if you do have any question regarding the installation then you can actually uh, just leave the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.